There are many different types of viruses and this schematic picture shows on the top part here some DNA viruses. Some of them have a lipid bilayer envelope like these two here. That is they are enveloped viruses and on this side a few non-enveloped viruses. This is a herpes virus, this is a pox virus, and up here we have a virus that causes warts. It's a called papilloma virus. We'll talk about that later in this lecture. Down here are uh, so-called enveloped viruses I mentioned. They all, sorry, RNA viruses, they contain a lipid bilayer envelope. Some of them have an icosahedral capsid, like shown here. Others have uh, a helical capsid, as I already mentioned before. Up here is the influenza virus, down here is a SARS virus or a related virus, so-called coronavirus. And I will in a moment talk about a virus from this family here, which um, is so-called alpha virus, uh, causes encephalitis. Now, <coughs> viral particles look very different. In the electron micrograph microscope, this is how the uh, influenza virus looks. The virus particles are not identical in shape, but they all have this envelope, and in the envelope you see the projections which form the envelope glycoproteins, which are very important during virus entry into cells. This is an alpha virus, the Semliki forest virus, which I also will talk about in a moment. It has almost all of its surface covered by the spike glycoproteins. The envelope is only visible as blue spots in the background of this protein shell. Next one is our electron micrographs again from SARS virus, a coronavirus. It's uh, enveloped and it has spike glycoproteins on its surface. The final virus is a non-enveloped virus, the papilloma virus, which is a, uh, has this protein shell and the DNA of this virus is inside this uh, central cavity of the particle. 